Hey guys, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Nick Gentile <coughs> of Lord in Christ Ministries. It's Saturday morning. It's just ten, hit just hit ten o'clock, and uh, two days, uh, less than two days ago, because actually the surgery started in the morning and went into the nighttime. So this time two days ago, I was having surgery done to remove about seventy percent of my liver, sixty sixty nine to be exact. Um, to a friend of mine who's in who's in desperate need of a liver transplant. A lot of the stuff I'm going to say in this video is repetitive, but people who haven't seen the previous videos will learn something, or they, they this will be new to them. Um, but everything's gone great. Um, you know, my surgery went great. The lead surgeon, Doctor Hernandez, said that I have beautiful liver, that I that I have a beautiful liver, a pristine in pristine condition that everything looked great internally, and that the surgery was a great success for both myself and my friend P. And I just give the Lord Jesus Christ all the glory for that, because without him, without his love, his compassion, without his power, his authority, his grace, his mercy, everything, every adjective you can come up with, or every every ability that he has, he's God, he's sovereign, he's in control of all things. Without that, this never would have been possible. So I give the Lord Jesus Christ all the credit, all the glory, all the praise, all the honor for this. This happened after, it just was less than three months from the time I first contacted Strong in August up until now, about three months. It's amazing. And so I, I just give God the glory, man. When he opens doors, he's going to open. If it's his will for you to do something, he will open every door that needs to be open. He'll close all the doors that need to be closed. I'm a pastor. I love Jesus. If people don't like that, I love Jesus. I don't really care. He saved me. I was such a wretch. You know, I've been a believer in Christ, a follower of Christ, a disciple of Christ for over 11 years. And I was an utter wretch before that. And I'm the only difference between me and someone else who doesn't know Christ is grace. Doesn't know Christ as their Lord and Savior. So I just give him all the glory because I know what he rescued me from. He, You know, I've been delivered from the domain of darkness and transferred in the, into the kingdom of Christ. So I give God all the glory for that. Good morning, Aaron. How are you? I'm doing great by God's grace. I've been dealing mainly with abdominal pain, which is where the surgery took place, and with my right shoulder. But right now, because of the pain medication I'm on, and because it's, you know, I'm, I'm getting healthier and healthier as we move away from the day of surgery, uh, my shoulder no longer hurts and the pain in my stomach has gone down and so i give god all the glory for that and i thank you so much for all you got thank you i thank every person i have a dry mouth and again i'm not completely with it so if i stumble a little bit please um please forgive me and, and just keep me in your prayers i'm sorry to tell you i will be praying for you uh, i will be praying for you aaron uh, christ bless you and keep you and um you know anything i can do to help you with your situation, just let me know. But uh, this is a privilege. I'm thankful. You see, I'm going to show you. Again, like I said, it just hit 10 o'clock when I started recording this video. This is the hospital room I'm in, in the intensive care unit, the ICU. And I have the greatest view. I'm really blessed, guys. And um, it's just a privilege to do this. Because this is really a desire of my heart. And I believe that desire comes from the Holy Spirit. The love of God shed abroad in my heart through the power of Christ's spirit is why I, I did this, why I stepped out in faith and I've done what I've done. And I want to donate bone marrow after this. That's going to be down the road. I'm going to have to wait at least a year for that to happen. And that's different because you can sign up with like Be The Match or some other organization that em enables people to donate bone marrow to people in need. But it's not the same thing, not the same process as when you're attempting to donate or you want to donate. One of your kidneys are part of your liver. You can be more aggressive with that. You have more say, I, I should say, um, and how that process goes. But um, I just, yeah. Yeah, I'm, you know, and I'm going to, we'll see what happens. It's all in the Lord's hands. But I feel like a year from now, I'll probably be fine, just like it was um, this year after, uh, you know, donating the kidney last year. So I want to encourage anyone who sees this, please look into liver organ, living organ donation, whether kidney or liver, um, because people are dying 
And you can prevent that. You can save a life by the grace of God. So get in touch with me. I'll show you what you need to do to get started. I'll give you all the resources possible that you'll need. And you can get started ASAP. I'll answer every one of your questions. I'll show you how you can get financial aid to travel. Absolutely. How you get financial aid to travel back and forth from your, your hometown or your city to wherever you need to go. If it's out of city, out of state. And also uh, health insurance and all that stuff. If you get in touch with me, and I'll, I'll put you on to all that. You know, how you can get time off from work with pay and stuff like that. There's a lot of really good resources out and about that are available to people who really desire to step forward and, and make the sacrifice um, to donate either a kidney or liver or both. Okay? Yes, that's right. I definitely use discernment. The Lord has given me wisdom. Um, I had wisdom throughout this entire process. And this was his calling on my life. And he's sovereignly in control of all things. And it was just, I was in his will. In the heart of his will. Christ is my foundation. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And apart from him, I can do and no one can do anything. So, definitely going to keep moving forward. Glorifying the Lord as best I can. But I feel great. I've been walking around in the hallway because if you donate a liver or a kidney or anything else, you have to you gotta get walking around, keep the blood circulating and also expelling the gas and getting things moving. I'm at Strong Memorial Hospital in Rochester, New York. And uh, this is one of the best hospitals in the country. So I'm blessed that this is, this is where the transplant surgery took place. And so, you know, again, keep me in your prayers, keep pee in your prayers. I've spoken I've spoken um, to members of, the, of my transplant team about how the friend that I donated to, how he's doing, and they said he's doing great. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be a process of him healing, you know, getting back to the way he was before he developed liver disease. But he, it, things already look good. So I praise God for that. And he has to take just like someone who gets a kidney. Yeah, I, I'm very familiar with the hospital, yes. I've known about it. I've lived in Rochester my entire life, so I'm very, very familiar with Strong. It's an excellent hospital. And if you can come here, out of where God is where you live, you can come here. Awesome team. Awesome people to work with. So, but, um, it's a machine I have to keep turning off. So, yeah, so praise God for that. They said he's doing great. And it's going to take him some time, but he's going to look like a new person within a month. Within a month's time. For me... Um, my liver is going to double in size within two, two and a half months. And then by the eighth month, my liver will fully regrow and I'll have, um, 90% liver function, which from what I've been educated about is four times the amount of liver function a person actually needs as long as they're healthy. And it, it means it's awesome God, how God created our bodies. And for this specific organ, no, you're fine, Aaron. I do want to communicate with you. And when, th when I get the right resources, I want to do an interview with you to get your story out, to get your cause out there um, so we can find you a donor. That, that's what I definitely has a heart's desire uh, for me to help you in that way. But I want to do more than that as well if I can. But I give God, I give the Lord Jesus Christ all the glory for this. Because like I said, and I'm saying this to the new people who are coming on, this wouldn't have happened without him. He opened every door that needed to be opened that no man could close. I'm telling you, it happened the same way when I donated the kidney. I pursued that for ten and a half years, but it only happened in his timing, when when it was when it was his sovereign timing for me to do it. And when I, after I donated, I looked back and I said, you know what, God's hand was on this, the entire process, starting in late January, early February, 2009, when I was 23, turning 24, up until when I actually donated. It was an amazing thing how doors closed left and right throughout that entire process. And I got really frustrated because I was convinced it was God's will. But I never gave up. I never gave up. And then when it was meant to happen, every door opened. No man, no man could close it. Nothing could get in the way. Satan, fallen angels, demons could not stop this from happening. Because God is sovereignly in control. It's the Father, Lord, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I've been staying hydrated, Aaron. Yeah, definitely. Especially with one kidney, you know. 
Um, but, you know, a portion of my liver is gone, majority of my liver is gone, so I got to be even extra vigilant when it comes to hyd staying hydrated. But, um, I just, it's just amazing. Then this, this, like I said, took three months. And I, I just believed that it was God's will, and I stepped out in faith. If you make yourself available to be used by the Lord, He'll use you to do amazing things. Just stay faithful to Christ. Stay in His Word. Stay focused on Him. Um, develop a strong relationship with Him. Have Him as your foundation, your rock, your fortress, your strong tower, your good shepherd. And He'll use you to do amazing things for His praise, honor, and glory. And I'm not done. I've got a lot of stuff planned. But again, it's only going to happen in accordance with God's will. So pray for me that I'll know what God's will is, the good, perfect, and acceptable will of God, and I'll perform it. And of course, I've got to keep renewing my mind, staying in His Word, serving other people. And that's how, that's how I'll know for sure what His will is. But, okay. Uh, Colby, just whatever you feel led by the Lord to do, mainly that I would do God's will and glorify Him through what I do, that I do nothing with a selfish motive, a self-centered motive, um, with a pure motive and I will know God's will and I will step out in faith and I will do his will okay that's what happened with this with the kidney donation last year liver donation this year I'm mean, what I've done whether I travel to India um, to help facilitate an anti-human trafficking workshop I did that in Jesus name and for his glory or brought Bibles to, to a ministry in Toronto I've done a lot the Lord has allowed me to do a lot and it's all because of me it's not because of me but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go much longer with this video Thank you guys for praying for me. Thank you for praying for P and his family. Um, and pray for my family. Okay? So Christ bless you and keep you guys. And uh, you have a wonderful day. God bless you.